Welcome Capricorns. I'm back y'all with another video. So it definitely has been a while. It's been about three to four weeks since I have posted. But um, I'm back guys. I just recently moved into my new place. So I had to get settled in. But I'm back now. So let's talk about August. Okay, let's see what messages we have for you for the month of August. All right, so... This is a general read. It may or may not resonate with you. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have wedding. Okay, so this could be someone that you are married to. I'm getting uh, very soon. It looks like you're going to have to make some type of decision. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, we have trust issues and forgiving and learning. So there may be a trust factor here. I feel like um, this could be the one. You may have someone new come in. Um, we have pay attention to the red flags and religious factors. Okay, but there's something that you need to pay attention to. Something about um, religious factors is, you know, a religious path or a spiritual path. Okay, um, someone's belief, beliefs. Um, and how they view things. This could raise some type of red flag towards you. And you feel like this situation is unrequited. Like, there's not enough chemistry to keep it going. And there's two, there's not enough equal give and take. Okay, so you may have a new love interest come in for you. And I feel like you're going to be open to it. You're letting the you're letting go of control issues. You know, letting the universe um, guide this situation. Um, but I do feel like you guys can have new love interests coming in. Okay. All right. So we have make the effort, release your ex and finances and career. I feel like with make the effort here, it looks like flirt. There's a lot of flirting going on. Yeah, you've released yourself from an ex, okay? We got to free yourself. You've released yourself from a past situation, your ex. Um, there was too many red flags. You thought that this person was the one, but there's trust issues here. Okay, now with finances and career, we got playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth spirit of fun to shine. So it looks like there's this new person that you're getting to know. You're disconnecting yourself from the world and getting closer with this person. And you feel like it's so worth the wait, okay? Um, the six of so the honeymoon is like the six of swords. You've moved on from this past person. And you feel like this new person that is coming in for you or this new person that is already here, you're taking things to the next level with this person. You feel like you have a chemistry with this person. Um, and I feel like communication is open. There was a codependent relationship that you were in, okay? Definitely with the past person because we got reconciliation here. So that's possibly with someone from the past. But it looks like you're calling in a new soulmate. Yeah, your past life past life relationship and true love this person from your past i really feel like you thought this was going to be a romance of a lifetime i feel like you wanted to give this another shot but i feel like you're open to new you're open to new you're open to new okay so i've been getting that for a lot of the readings like a lot of people are releasing you know there's a lot of releasing here. Like, it's like a chapters. A lot of chapters are being closed. You may have been seeing the number 555 or 999, 1010. This is also letting you know that changes are ahead as well as chapters are closing. Okay, so give me a read for the Capricorn for the month of August, please. Give me a reading for Capricorn, please. Uh, 
Me and my sister for Capricorn. All right, so yeah, there's a new connection here that you are going towards, you're headed towards. You may have walked away from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This situation just has has you in your head a lot, okay? Um, you feel like there was no equal give and take. There's no give and take in this situation. You may have not been in communication with this person and you felt like this relationship or connection was a burden, okay? So it's like um, you feel... Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. You could be dealing with the Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It looks like you've moved towards a, a better connection where you feel fulfilled, where you feel happy, okay? And you've been waiting on this, okay? But I feel like the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups here and the Eight of Swords, maybe you're afraid that you're going to regret regret this decision with this new person, Um I see a lot of spying going on for sure. You wanted this person to put in some more effort um, to win you over. This person missed their chance with you. So now you're starting over um, with a new connection. You pissed this past person off. And I'm getting that there's no communication. You're keeping it moving forward, okay? You don't want to hold on to this connection anymore. You don't want to do go back and forth, okay? And if it's a bad choice for you to move on, I feel like you're willing to take that risk, okay? Because I just feel like you want out of this connection, okay? So let's see what we got going on here. Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Death, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, this is just reiterating what I just said, okay? So when I split the cards, Spirit is confirming what I said because everything just came back out on the table. All right, so you walked away from a connection, an old connection, because and you're going towards something new. All right, so the Eight of Cups here, you're no longer attached to the situation. The Queen of Wands here, Leo Sagittarius Aries, you may be separated from this person. The Hierophant and the Four of Swords definitely sounds like a separation, like you were separated from this person possibly for a while. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. Some of you walked away from a marriage, okay? Possibly... Um, for a new connection. And it took you a while to do this. Because we got the Knight of Pentacles. It, you may have took your time to make this decision. But you haven't been in. I'm getting like a lot of you haven't been in communication with this person. Now we got the Ace of Cups here. This Okay. The Seven of Pentacles jumped. You've been. Um, you're being really patient. Okay. You've been patient, but there's some competition going on here. There's a battle. There's some, you know, disagreements here that's been going on, okay? Tell me why the Seven of Pentacles is here. The judgment, yeah. This is a final decision, okay? This is judgment day, the Ten of Swords, yeah. You ended something, okay? This caused some problems, Okay, you ending this situation caused some problems, for sure. But the decision has already been made. Now we have the Knight of Swords, okay? Knight of Swords. The Six of Swords, you ran. <laughs> you got the hell out of Dodge, okay? This situation was not fulfilling for you. And you didn't want to force this, this connection, okay? So you decided to cut this person off. And this is something I feel like you've been waiting to do, Um like I said, you may have been on a separation period with this person. There could have been some lies, some manipulation, some um, playing with someone's emotions here. And you're looking for something different. You want some type of, you're looking for something different. You want to change. Now, the Queen of Cups is here. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you are dealing with. We got the Seven of Wands. Somebody here is standing their ground. And um, someone here is planning on... Having some type of comeback. Somebody is planning some type of comeback. Why is the seven of wands here? The eight of wands. Someone forced somebody to say something here. Why is the eight of wands here? 
Yeah, somebody forced somebody to tell somebody the truth. Somebody was extremely surprised. So this came out of the blue. Some a truth came out. Okay. The truth came out. Um, it was surprising. Um, but you knew that this had to happen. There was a breakup, okay? Somebody here was afraid. I feel like you were afraid to make this decision or you, it was constantly on your mind. So you was kind of like waiting for, you know, the light, waiting for the truth or waiting for things to be illuminated first, okay? Because a lot of things were in the dark. So the truth looks like it came out and it looks like things were very, very disappointing. Like there was a, a big disappointment here. You were really overthinking this situation in the past with this nine of swords energy. Like this situation had you like stressed out. Yeah, tower. Something definitely, some truth definitely came out because there's a tower in the nine of swords. Okay. Yeah, the breakup. Okay. And there's a new opportunity. So there was a tower moment. And then right after that tower moment, it looks like you found somebody new. Okay. Someone new came in or a new opportunity came in for you. Moving ahead, we got the strength card. You could be dealing with a Leo. This person could be um, very much so materialistic. Like, you know, they just like the finer things in life. This person could be offering you that to be a part of that. So you had to make a decision about your past person here with this two of pentacles. You had to make a decision in order to get, um, to get walk into something new. Why is the strength card here? the moon all right so there's definitely something hidden here maybe you're trying to keep something um on the low the nine of cups you wanted to keep something a secret this love possibly a love triangle but you were what you wanted to wait to make this decision i feel like something happened or something surfaced that forced someone to tell the truth here and I feel like you didn't want it to go that way. You wanted to wait to make the decision. Why is the three of wands here? Okay, but it looks like you're moving forward. Now you're feeling like you're in competition or there's a battle here. There's a battle here. Yeah, I'm, it's looking like, you know what? You made this decision and you don't really care about, you don't really care. I feel like the Ten of Swords and the King of Cups is just saying like there's no emotion here. Like there is no emotion. Emotionally, you're not there. Why is the King of Cups here? The Five of Cups. You don't feel like, I wouldn't say that you don't, care i would say that you don't feel like you're going to regret it okay you don't feel like you're going to regret this decision that you made okay to cut this past person off for this new connection okay because possibly because somebody cheated okay somebody lied and you found out the truth this person that you're dealing with um this person that you're dealing with, they already had a feeling that you would return. But some someone is saying like, look, the marriage is over. This commitment is over. Um, you felt stuck in this commitment, but not anymore. Not anymore. You felt obligated. I'm getting someone over here is saying that um, maybe you were telling, um, you know, saying that you were single when really um, you, I'm just getting that their side, how they're feeling. And they're feeling like you weren't being honest about a situation. So both of you guys feel like there's, you know, some lies going on here. There's a new offer, okay? They feel like you got a new offer, okay? 
and they knew that this was decision was was coming okay they knew this decision was coming definitely you ended something for something new okay just because you were looking for something different i feel like you put in a lot of effort in this past situation and you just feel like it wasn't it didn't give you the results that you were looking for. So, you know, I'm think, I'm getting like there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of juggling. But I do see the truth came out. The truth came out and it caused an ending. Ten of Swords in the world. I feel like you think about this situation. You think you, you want to find an equal. King of Pentacles and the king, and the Queen of Pentacles. You want to find your, your equal. Um, and I feel like you don't want to go back to a situation. Possibly because of finances with this five of pentacles here um just not feeling like this is a fit for you or you feeling like you have to compete with other people so you rather not go back towards that situation and you don't think i feel like you you just don't want to um you just don't see this as being um you know you just don't see it being satisfying I don't feel like it was actually in the plan for you to make the decision like like how it went down, but I do feel like, you know, you you found someone new. Now the outcome is the 2 of cups here, the 2 of cups and the 10 of pentacles. Yes. So it looks like you are in a connection that is bringing you a lot of success financially. This could turn out to be something long term. I feel like this is you found a match. You both are vibrating on the same level. Tell me more about the Ten of Pentacles. The Hierophant, yeah. This could lead to something long-lasting. This could lead to a marriage, okay? I feel like you're done. You're done with the situation. And you want to see where this new situation is going to go. Tell me more about the Hierophant. could be dealing with a Taurus. Nine of Wands. I see a lot of spying going on and a lot of juggling going on. Okay, I, I do see that a decision is being made to close out a chapter. I feel like you gave up on a, on a connection. Someone gave up here. I feel like it was something that maybe you wanted to keep around and maybe go back to here and there. But you feel like this situation is like too problematic. It's too problematic. You want to see this person put in more effort. Um, I feel like there's a lot of competition going on as well, too. So let's see what this person wants to say to the Capricorn. I want to tell you how I feel. This person is going through a healing process, okay? Um, this person is healing. So this is the person from the past energy. They're becoming a better person. Like, they're working on themselves. Um, somebody crossed the line, for sure, for sure. And this person that you're dealing with or we're dealing with, they're trying to heal. They do want to communicate with you and tell you how they feel. I left when I saw you with someone. All right, so they, they already know that you have someone else. The timing just wasn't right. But this person is still attracted to you. Um, but they just, they, they know you have someone else. I wish I had treated you better. You are the best thing in my life. I wish I could take back my words. Tell me more. Just being near you is intoxicating. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, like I said, this person knows that you found someone new. Um, my life is not as together as it seems. So this person is definitely healing and going through some type of awakening or transformation. Um, I left you before you could leave me. You don't know how hard it is to let go. I wish things could be different. So this person is wishing things could be different between you two. They do want to communicate with you, but they're also in a healing. They're healing as well. 
okay they're healing all right so that's the message that i have for the capricorn all right if this message resonated with you be sure to leave a thumbs up as well guys if you would like to support the channel you can uh donate to the channel to receive a reading that information is in the drop box below as well guys if you would like to support my uh website the website is www.empressempireoils.com. All that information is in the drop box below. All right. So I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.